Guys, I'm in an Uber now going to the taxi rank, a wanderer's taxi rank. So, we are going to Maseru Resutu. Yeah, I'm at Park Station taxi rank. Yeah, so friends, apparently at Wanderers, uh, there is no taxi that goes to Maseru. Yes, friends, we are now in the taxi to go to Maseru Resutu. <laughs> Here at Hebron, so we have a short break here. Friends, we are at the border now. <coughs> we have reached uh, Maseru Resort, port of entry in Maseru. Guys, this is Ma Ma Maseru Bridge. That the bridge that separates uh, South Africa and uh, and the Resort. <laughs> Hello, good morning from Johannesburg, South Africa, Braf and Train to be specific. Wadao Mambo Vipi. It's a fine morning here, but today I'm traveling to Maseru, Resutu. Resutu is a small country within South Africa. So I know there are, I still have some uploads from South Africa which I will be uploading later on. But for today, let's go to uh, let's go to Maseru Resutu and explore uh, that small country in southern Africa. And that across the road is my hotel it's called the hotel Ibanista so I have been here for almost three nights and yeah it's a good hotel if you get time to come to uh, Johannesburg Brafantein just check them out so let's go to Maseru so I'm waiting for my Uber here to take me to uh, the park, uh, park station uh, park station taxi rank so I will see you when you get there Yeah, so guys, I'm in an Uber, now going to the taxi rank, a wanderer's taxi rank. So we are going to Maseru Resutu, and that before us, the Mandela Bridge. Yeah. We are going to Maseru Resutu. Uh, there are still a lot of videos about Johannesburg, which I'm going to upload later on. But for today, let's go and explore this small country uh, within South Africa. So I'll be there at Maseru, and then from Maseru, I'll return to um, to South Africa. But I will go to Bluefontein, and from Bluefontein, I will turn back to Johannesburg, and then from there, I will go to Oaratambo International Airport to take my Ethiopian Airways flight back to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Yeah, I'm at Park Station tax rank. Looking for taxi that goes to Maseru. Yeah, so friends, apparently at Wanderers, uh, there is no tax goes to Maseru. So I, get, I got there and I was asking for buses to Maseru. And there is one guy there who told me that you cannot get buses to Maseru, so I will, I will show you, but you have to pay me 100 rand. And ah, I was like, this is not safe. Well, once you just uh, wander here, anything can happen. So let's, let's, let's go. Let me, let, let me show you. So that guy brought me here. So this is the place where I, I bought my ticket for 330. So I don't know the name of this place. Uh, I tried to ask others, but... They don't know the name of the place, but it's uh, it's near. You, it's a working distance from uh, Wanderers Tax Rank. So I paid the guy 100 rand, uh, though it's too much. But you know, I'm a foreigner here. I cannot just take chance. Anything can happen. You know those guys. Mm, they can do anything. So yeah, I'm here just waiting for my taxi to go to Maseru Resort. Yes, friends, we are now in the taxi, uh, ready to go to Maseru, Usutu. Yeah, so let's go to Maseru. Yeah, friends, we are now living in Johannesburg, uh, nude tax rank. So we are heading to Maseru, Usutu.
songs inside the taxi and uh, the views outside are just amazing the landscape is impressive to watch so let's continue with our journey Yes, friends, we are now cruising in Free State. Um, this is one of the provinces here in South Africa. Uh, we are done with the Johannesburg. So we are heading to Maseru Risutu. But remember, Risutu is a small country within South Africa. It's surrounded by South Africa. So uh, to get there, you have to pass through South Africa, then <laughs> Risutu. Yeah, so I think you are enjoying this adventure. So let's go to Maseru. He lived in Uganda. Okay. But Uganda they don't speak Swahili. <laughs> they have their language called Uganda. Uganda and Swahili. And Swahili, yeah. So this Tanzania is a nice country. People are friendly. <laughs> very, very friendly. Ah no no. Johannesburg people no. Tanzania is peaceful. You know those peaceful places? It's Tanzania. People are friendly. They can go extra miles to help you, to make you feel at home, yeah, to make you feel welcome, yeah? especially if you are, they recognize that you are a foreigner, you'll be given a special treatment, <laughs> yeah, I think we've heard of Nyerere, our uh, father of nation, Julius Nyerere, yeah, okay, minerals. Okay. Yeah. Mm. We have gold, we have diamond, we have tanzanite. Have you heard of tanzanite? It's a mineral that is only special found in Tanzania. It's called the tanzanite. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That is Tanzania. You read that story? Yeah. That man is called Eliza. He's from Maasai. You know this Maasai tribe? Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Maasai are from Tanzania. There is a, a region called Arusha and Manyara. Uh, so, Maasai are from Tanzania and Kenya. So, they, they are at the border. Uh, like Basutu of South Africa and uh, Lesotho. Yeah. So, Arusha. Ah, in, in Zambia. Aha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that man is called Eliza, he's a Maasai. So Arusha is where Tanzanite is mostly found. At a particular place called Mererani. So those guys they are very rich. So you must send us some Ah yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you you to visit Tanzania because <laughs> there are a lot of resources there you might come back in Lesotho with some a jam eh? a, a, a big stone <laughs> yeah <laughs> ocean we have Indian Ocean Indian Ocean so Indian uh, Yes. 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 Uh, from the 
Zimbabwe. Okay, so we have Indian Ocean, but also we have a lot of lakes, like Lake Victoria. Have you heard of, about Lake Victoria? Ah, no, it's not in Zimbabwe. It is in Tanzania and Uganda. Uh -huh. But also we have Lake Tanganyika. That is found in a region called Kigoma. So it borders uh, Tanzania, Burundi, Congo and Zambia. Yeah, so we have a lot of water bodies. <laughs> we have rivers. Yeah? So you just come and enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, so friends, we are still cruising, uh, heading to Maseru, Lesotho. And uh, we are in the Free State province in South Africa. And I was chatting with my sister here from Lesotho about Tanzania and uh, yeah, the resources we have in Tanzania, the similarities we have with the Africans. And I was inviting her to come to Tanzania. <laughs> and I promised her if she come to Tanzania, she will get uh, Tanzanite, you know, the, the mineral that is only found in Tanzania. We were just joking about that. So, yeah, let's continue with our adventure to Maseru Resutu. Yes, wadau, mambo vipi. Safari inaendelea kuelekea Lesotho Maseru. So we are at Hebron. So we have a short break here uh, for passengers to get something uh, to ease themselves. Yeah, so we are. So let's check this format. Bro, what is that? Is it juice or something? Huh? This one. Is it juice or something? This. Uh, it's like a juice or energy. Energy drink. Yeah. So there is a store here. Where you can have something <laughs> this is Hebron the free state the rest room that is uh, Hebron in the free state it's a short break here for passengers to get some refreshments that is our taxi and uh, our passengers have disembarked to get their services yeah that's how things are in hebron free state uh mangaung <laughs> yeah that's our bus so we are departing hebron now uh, we are departing hill Hill brown. <laughs> so I can see a man made lake there. It's a river, it's a lake, I don't This is Seneca. Yeah, this town of Seneca in the Free State. Um, we are now approaching Maseru, friends, Resutu. Hope you have been following my adventures from Dar es Salaam to South Africa and now to Maseru, Resutu. So I have done more than 4,000 and like uh, 400 kilometers, 4,400 kilometers from Dar es Salaam to Maseru, Resutu. So, yeah, Seneca. So, uh, it's an adventure. So, you can just watch those videos from Dar es Salaam to Lusaka, Zambia, 
then from Lusaka Zambia to Johannesburg and this one from Johannesburg to Marcel Resutu yeah so let's go and uh, see how Marcel Resutu looks like and explore the city for some few days and then we'll be off to Brofontein Mangaung So friends, we are proceeding with our journey to Maseru and here we are at Makwachi. Um, this is a town here in this free state province in South Africa. So we have two more towns to go before we reach Maseru. So this town is called Makwachi uh, in free state South Africa. Quart town, a quart town in a free, free state, uh, South Africa, Maguati town. Area is called Clockland, uh, about 30 kilometers from Makwat, and uh, we will have enough to drive for another 30 minutes to reach Lady Bread, and then we will have about 15 kilometers to reach uh, Maseru border. Thank you. Clockland, okay, so this town is called Clockland. Uh, we are still in Free State, South Africa, but up to this moment we are nearly nearly to reach Maseru Lesotho and so far so good the journey is proceeding very well no incident at all we thank God so let's continue friends Yeah, so friend, look at the view now. Look at this scenery. Man, amazing. And you can just look at the, the fields, the plantations. Yeah, man, these people, South Africans, have invested much on large scale agriculture. So you can see the farms. They are very well kept. Beautiful to see. I mean, South Africa is a beautiful country. The landscape here is top notch. So, we are approaching Ladi Brand. That is the last, the last, uh, hey, look at those baboons. I mean, no, sheep. This is like sheep farming. This field is very, very beautiful. So we are going to Lady Brand, which is the last town in South Africa. After Lady Brand, then we will be in Maseru, Lesotho.
We are at the border now. <coughs> we have reached the uh, Maseru Resort. So this is the Maseru Bridge, which is the border uh, between South Africa and Lesotho. Uh, um, so friends, uh, we have reached the Maseru Bridge. Apparently, I think this is the end of these minibuses. They don't go to Maseru City. So they just end up here and there's passengers we have to go and across the bridge there and then look for another alternative to get to the town. So let's go to the immigration now. Aseru Bridge. Aseru Bridge point of entry. We are now going to the migration to get our passport stamped. So as we are allowed to officially enter the Sutu. Yeah, so guys, this is how the immigration looks like. Yeah, so friends, I got my passport stamped out of South Africa. So I'm going now to uh, Lesotho side to get my entry stamp. So I'm officially out of South Africa. Now I'm going to negotiate my entry to Lesotho. <laughs> Guys, this is Ma Ma Maseru Bridge. Yeah. That's the bridge that separates uh, South Africa and, uh, and the Lesotho. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, so it has rained here. So we are now crossing. Uh, from South Africa to Lesotho through this Maseru bridge. So I am from Tanzania. If you have heard about Tanzania, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful country. Come on and visit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, come on and visit. Yeah, come they are very polite yeah. people, peaceful, oh, hospitable. So you won't have any problem. Okay. And the men are, you know, are good. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> it's far. Ah, East yeah, Africa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tanzania is not far. Yeah, it's not far. It's yeah. Day, yes. So, friends, just like that, we are officially in Lesotho. I got my passport stamped and I was given one month. As a SADC member, Tanzanian don't need to apply for visa. You just get here and it's visa free for 30 days. It can go up to 90 days. As a tourist um, from Marcelo Bridge. Yeah. Uh, I think 